Texture pastes are a great way to add texture and dimension to your projects. You can also customize them however you want. You can add mica powders, reinkers, acrylic paint to color them and make them more customized to the look that you're going for. Here I've got some transparent gloss texture paste and grit paste crypt. You can see right off the bat that there's a difference in the look of them right in the bottle. The transparent gloss, it looks white and milky now, but it's going to dry completely clear. And it's a fun way to do resist techniques or even just get some clear transparent dimension to your project. The Grit Paste Crypt has more of a greeny gray sandy look to it. There's definitely a lot more texture to it. The transparent gloss is very silky smooth, buttery, creamy, whereas the Grit Paste Crypt is very sandy and gritty. I like to use a palette knife when I'm using it through a stencil. You could also use a palette knife or even your fingers, just putting it directly on a project. And once again, customizing it exactly how you want it to look. So after it's dry, the transparent's gone completely clear and you can see that the Grit Paste Crypt has still got some of that sandy green color to it, but it's got some tooth to it. So you could add different products to it at this point as well.